students how are you all i hope you all are good at home you all are enjoying your time and you all are studying and taking lot of rest very good my dear students i welcome you all on today's class today i have very important topic it is singular and plural words my dear students in english language singular words and plural words play very important role every word will have singular form or singular number and plural form or plural in number every word if there is a singular definitely there will be a plural also so this is a new topic i hope you will learn very carefully i have written a small definition and example for singular and plural and some examples i mentioned here also i will discuss with you first let us know what is a singular noun or singular word here as i mentioned a singular noun is a word that refers to refers to means tells for example refers to one person place thing or animal that means when we talk about one person one place one thing or object or one animal we use singular for example boy boy is one person teacher teacher is one person town town is one place street street is one place class class is one place brush brush is one thing or one object bench one thing or object box one thing or one object if you take cat one animal dog one animal tiger one animal so when we talk about one person one person single person one place one object or thing or one animal we use singular form or singular number next you see plural a plural noun is a word that refers to more than one person place thing or animal now plural noun it tells or we use plural noun when there are more than one person or more than one place more than one thing or object more than one animal when we have more than one more than one means it can be two or three or four or many so when we have more than one we use plural so here examples you can see here boy is singular boys plural boys means more than one boys means it can be two or three or four or many similarly teacher one person here teachers more than one 
like your subject teachers telugu teacher mathematics teacher science teacher art teacher games teacher like that teachers more than one next towns here town town is one place towns towns means more than one places more than one places like ellandu one town another town kottagudem like that if you add more number of towns names of towns that will be towns streets here street or lane where you reside you must be residing in a street or in a lane in a particular area so when you say one street it is street singular when we say more than one street two three four streets then we say streets next class class is one place classes more than one for example first class it's one first class second class third class fourth class more than one that's why it is classes plural brush here brush singular here brushes here one item here more than one item one object more than one object next bench one object one item benches more than one it can be 2 3 4 10 20 30 50 many next box one item boxes many items more than one box so here you can also write suppose cat then here it will be cats if you write here dog dogs so any number of words you can make them you can put them in singular and plural singular ante okati okka manishi gaani okka vastu gaani oka sthalam gaani oka jantu gaani unde daniki singular antam okati unde ఒకటి కంట ఎక్కువ ఉంటే అంటే రెండు కానీ మూడు కానీ నాలుగు కానీ ఇంకా దాని కంట ఎక్కువ ఉంటే ప్లూరల్ అంటాం సింగులర్ అంటే ఏకవచనం ప్లూరల్ అంటే బహువచనం సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అండ్ డెఫినేషన్ ఫర్ సింగులర్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లూరల్ అండ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ నా if you understand these examples and definition you can easily convert any singular into plural any plural into singular you can convert a singular to plural or a plural plural to singular okay students now let us see some information i mentioned here note we can make words plural by adding s normally what happens for any singular word we just add s if you add s it becomes that particular word becomes plural for example here you saw boy what i did i added s when s is added the boy has become boys so boy is singular boys is plural similarly if you take pen singular when you add s pens plural so normally what we do we add s to a singular and that singular becomes plural this is one rule mostly we do like that suppose kite k i t e kite singular if you add s kites book singular if you add s books plural sweet singular if you add s sweets plural many varieties 
forest singular if you add as forests plural train singular if you add as trains fan singular if you add as fans plural so when you add s a singular becomes plural when you add s to a singular word that singular word becomes plural word second rule is we can make words plural by adding es es when a singular word ends with sh ch ss and x letter or letters so first rule is adding by adding s to a singular it will become plural second rule is if you add es also the singular will become plural if you add es but when we can add es when a singular word ends with these letters sh at last if you find sh in a word in a singular word or ch in a singular word or ss in a singular word or x in a singular word then to convert those singular words into plural you have to add es not s now you if you see the examples you can understand see it is simple singular and plural boy boys added s it has become boys in plural boys town towns plural ball balls plural now you see bush b u s h bush now here what is the last two letter the last two letters are s h when a word ends with s h s h as per rule s h what we have to add e s to make the word plural b u s h e s bushes bush and bushes similarly another word you see b e n c h bench it is singular now what is the last two letters c h now when a word ends with c h as per the rule c h to convert this singular into plural we have to add es not s b e n c h bench b e n c h e s benches now this is plural so to this singular word i added es to make it a plural because this word ends with the c h letters next punch p u n c h punch here you can see c h now the last two letters are c h as per the rule c h when you have last two letters c h now that can be that singular word can be converted into plural by adding e s punches p u n c h e s punches next class c l a s s class here last two letters s s now here you see s s when a singular word ends with s s to convert that singular into plural we have to add e s now classes now this is plural if you add c l a s s class and only s then it will be wrong next word you see here glass g l a s s glass last two letters s s as per the rule when you have last two letters s s to convert that singular word this singular word into plural we have to add e s glass glasses next you see b o x box what is the last letter x i underlined you can see for your convenience i underlined here now box what is the last letter x as per the rule when a word singular word ends with x when a singular word ends with x 
to convert that singular word into plural you have to add es at the end box 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 es boxes if you write box s then it is wrong next let what you see s i x 6 here you can find the last letter x underline x as per the rule when the word ends with x to convert this word into plural we have to add es sixes six sixes okay children so these are the few examples i mentioned i wrote on the board so that you can learn you can understand like these words you can also on your own idea you can take the help of your parent and you can write in your notebook singular words and plural words singular words without s and es plural words with s and es at the end of the words okay children very easy topic very simple topic and very important topic for you so i am sure you will go through it you will understand it and you will practice more words of singular and plural thank you very much have a great life